Hey, it's Tom. These are my ins and outs for the week. Let's get into it. In Caitlin Clark. Women's basketball sensation Caitlin Clark was drafted number one overall by the Indiana Fever, as expected. She was rewarded with a four-year contract with her first year making about $76,000. Tweets about the average WNBA salary spiked, but noticeably, tweets posting ticket stubs were nowhere to be found. Before you get too excited about the new additions to the league, remember, all of the players are still women. And that's why she commands $7,000 a year. These gals sure do make it look difficult. Ow. Davis Clark. The viral internet sensation known for always being locked in was a bit too locked in at this week's Boston Marathon. In his customary style, Davis showcased his sub three hour marathon time, also showcasing the poop running down his legs. Bad day to be a pair of shorts. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. In Civil War, A24's dystopian thriller titled Civil War set a studio record totaling $25 million at the box office for opening weekend. Some critics pointed out that the provocatively titled film may hit a little bit too close to home for some Americans. However, the concerns were quickly alleviated when they found out that in the film, California and Texas joined forces. That would never happen. That's never going to happen. Ever. 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 Ever, Tiffany. Ever. 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 In a million years. Out. Handouts. A non-governmental organization was discovered in Mexico handing out flyers to migrants, saying, Reminder to vote for President Biden when you were in the United States. We need another four years of his term to stay open. Listen, I'm as annoyed as the next guy getting political texts to my phone, but this seems a little bit extreme. I'm dying. Help me. In honesty, Bill Maher created an impressive awkward silence after delivering this line at a show. I can respect the, the absolutist position. I scold the left on when they say, Oh, you know what? They just hate women. People who aren't pro-choice, they just, they don't hate women. They just made that up. They think it's murder. And it kind of is. I'm just okay with that. I am. I mean, there's 8 billion people in the world. I'm sorry, we won't miss you. In the words of Thomas Jefferson, honesty is the first book in the chapter of wisdom. Ow, megachurches. A Christian pastor was kicked off of stage after speaking out against a previous act, a male stripper swallowing a sword. Yeah, I got that one right. Yep, a male stripper swallowing a sword. The most disappointing part was the previous year's conference included a tank rolling over cars with flames shooting out of it. Ooh, boy. Might need to put a pause in megachurches until we can get to the bottom of this one.